So I put out my buckets to start collecting the sap. It's been a few weeks now, actually. I, uh, uh, in the Navy reserves, ended up getting orders and had to go out of town. So I'm just kind of now getting back to it. So these buckets are probably gonna be pretty full and you wanna kind of inspect them, make sure you don't have any, uh, you know, any green stuff or basically like mold or algae or anything like that growing in them. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start cooking some of it down as long as it's good. Now, uh, normally, I'd come out here, I'd have a couple extra five-gallon buckets to pour them in. I'm not prepared right now. Uh, I do have the pot that I actually boil it down in. So I'm going to transfer the sap to that, probably fill that, fill that about three-fourths of the way up. And when I run in... To base today i gotta go in for about an hour or two i'll probably stop by somewhere and grab me a couple buckets so i can do this a little more like i'm supposed to but come on over we're gonna open it up it doesn't feel slimy it's a little discolored but that's uh I don't think that's uh, out of the ordinary. From what I remember, I'm going to Google it just to make sure. But uh, but yeah, it doesn't uh, doesn't feel slimy. Doesn't feel like it's got algae in there. Uh, I'm going to pour this about three fourths of the way full, and I'm going to go up and start boiling it down. Okay, so we collected it. Got it just about, just about full all the way. And you'll notice in there, there's a few bugs. They made their way in. They're going to get filtered out uh, after uh, the first, the first boiling. Uh, usually, you bring it up to a boil and you kind of bring it down, and then you do the final boil. You want to kind of watch your temperature. You get it too hot, and as it boils down, it'll start to burn. But for right now, I've got it as high as it'll go on the stove probably leave it on there about 15 minutes to let it heat up and then i'm going to start putting a thermometer in there and backing it down a little bit uh, the other thing it's you know when i first started doing this i had heard made the wife a little upset that i was doing it in the house is that when you do it it gets all over the walls you get sticky stuff all over i've never had that issue i mean Basically, what you're boiling out is water. You're not boiling the sugar out. So it shouldn't. I mean, I guess some people have, but we've never had that issue. So I'm going to let it boil, let it heat up and let it boil. And probably going to let it run oh, a couple hours uh, to really get it down. I've got about 10 gallons all together in five-gallon buckets uh, between this and what's still out there. Uh, downside with making this is... That's probably not even going to give me a half gallon of syrup. Uh, not going to be that much, but we're still kind of early in the year. I started in January because it's been unseasonably warm here in northern Missouri. And I put them out. We were getting a little bit. We got a cold snap, so it wasn't really flowing. And then the Navy decided I needed to go out to Lemoore, California for a little while. And so now I'm kind of getting back on it. Uh, it's February 14th, Valentine's Day now, so there's still probably a good month, month and a half at least, that we can still collect this, so, so we'll get a good bit. So we're going to let this cook, and, uh, once it kind of gets boiled down, we'll be back. So now that we've kind of got it warmed up, it hasn't started to boil yet, but, uh, this is kind of an easy way. You get bugs in the sap. I mean, there's really no way around it, but once you kind of start, it's an easy way to get them out. They all float to the top, so you just kind of get a little strainer. And uh, you can kind of scoop them up. I do the same thing with, uh, with honey. Whenever I'm doing honey, you've always got little bee parts and all in there. So, uh, yeah, same thing. I kind of use this strainer when I'm bottling honey to get all of them out. So we're getting the bugs out now. We're getting it warmed up. Yeah, double check the color. 
you get some rains, you get some, uh, you get some snow and, uh, and it sets a little while. It's, it discolors also from what I was uh, reading up on, depending on where you put your taps in the tree, if you get a little deeper in, which I probably did, it gets a little darker, but with honey, the darker, the better. So, you know, maybe with this, it's, it's better. So anyway, we're going to get these bugs out and we're going to let it uh, kind of cook down a little bit. 